Brescia of Romania is a beautiful city nestled in the Transylvania mountains. Lively walkways and historic towers and cafes and full of life and vigor. But about 25 miles outside of the city, this beautiful city of Brescia is located um, the Roman village of Budila, an isolated village that's forgotten about and uh, yeah, desolate and depressive. And it's amazing that um, it's only about a half hour drive from the beautiful city of Brescia, Romania. And then here we are from Foundations Romania in the middle of this village, just want to share the God's love and bring hope and light into this village, into the lives of these children and families. My name is Sarah Vienna. I was born in Boston, Massachusetts, raised in Northern California, and I have been living in Brescia, Romania since 2002. My name is Steffi, I'm the Vice President for Foundations Romania, and I came to Romania as well in 2002. I was born and raised in German. So for Foundations Romania, we have three main projects. The first project started in 2005 at the Brescia State Children's Hospital, where we run an international volunteer program uh, holding babies, uh, children that um, have been abandoned or semi-abandoned, and we provide um, over 35,000 disposable diapers on an annual basis to this hospital. We became like part of the hospital team. Many of these babies, these children that are being left um, in this hospital come from the Gypsy, otherwise known as Roma communities. And, uh, and so in 2006, we started to develop a relationship <laughs> with a Roma village called Budila, otherwise known as the Crime Valley. And um, instead of just giving them things, we wanted to help transform their lives through education and sharing the gospel. And so we started uh, an after-school program in 2011 for children from this village. And uh, we started to run out of space. There were so many children that wanted to be a part of our program. So in 2019, we decided to officially buy land and build our own after-school building, which we um, open up the doors in 2022 uh, for our Gapi Center, a place of love, unconditional love. And uh, so we um, currently have 250 children and growing in this program. Um, this is for children between preschool to uh, high school age. And uh, we have um, teaching staff that are, are really just just speaking into their lives through through the transformation of, of the gospel and providing hope and, and saying that you can do anything that, um, that you set your mind to. And uh, our goal is to integrate these kids into society, pro help them find jobs, and um, yeah, just live a better life than the conditions that they are currently in. Our third big program is donations. We receive a lot of donations from Germany. And with donations, I mean clothing, shoes, school supplies, hygiene. Um, so this we are giving out to our kids here in the program, to the Children's Hospital, of course, and then also to different organizations in around Brasov area that are in need of these things. And I'm called almost daily of people that need this and that, and um, we we're able to provide that. And so we're very thankful for that. So all of everything we're doing is all based on donations. So building this house was a huge blessing that people have donated money to. And of course, now we have eight staff, bye -bye. eight people that um, are being hired from us. So they need, they need their salaries. We have diapers that need to be bought from the children's hospital. And there's, yeah, even just, landscaping and things like that, there's um, expenses for sure that need to be covered. We are so grateful uh, for this worldwide team that, that helps us um, transform these lives, these Romanian kids' lives. And so uh, financially, um, we have an after-school program to finance. We have teaching staff. Uh, we have project managers. We, have, um, we offer the kids a healthy snack. So there's things like that that we fundraise for, um, not to mention the upkeep of a, of a big after-school building like this. And uh, pay the utilities. Pay to the utilities, yeah. So um, ways people can get involved, of course, prayer is the most important, but uh, financial support. Uh, we definitely invite people to partner with us and, and to invest to help us um, transform lives and, and support these children and support our staff and um, yeah, we also uh, provide over 35,000 diapers 
on an annual basis at the Children's Hospital, and uh, that costs funding as well. And so we invite people to get involved and volunteer as well. Come over and see what we're doing. We, we brush off as a beautiful city, so we love to have people come visit, and, and it, we call it a vision trip. So come and see what we're doing here and enjoy the sights. How people can uh, get involved and help us if they can't come here is share our story. Um, yeah, network in our behalf. Uh, invite us to come to speak at your church uh, or your newspaper articles or post our stories on your page, on your social media page. Uh, there's many ways to get involved. You can start to do a, a fundraiser from your, your kitchen. Uh, <laughs> We also have a child sponsorship program if you would like to sponsor one of our children in our Agape Center. This is a way that you can connect with um, one of our, 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 our children and uh, you could pray for them. They write letters, you can respond back uh, and just be a part of their lives in some way. They love to know that there's someone out there in that world that's thinking and praying for them. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and uh, we hope that it's to brush off Romania, Fern Foundations Romania. Jesus said, in the book of Matthew, whatever you do for the least of these, you do for me. And um, in this way of how we are serving the poor, we're serving Jesus. And this is a form of love and worship to our Lord and Savior. Our mission is short and sweet. It's agape love, sharing agape love.